First training camp, how was it? Training camp it started pretty slow for me. I feel like it wasn't my best, but we got time to continue to make it better. I mean, I mean, when you're early self, what do you mean it wasn't your best? Did you get any um, I feel like I wasn't really attention to detail today, so I need to buy in on that for the rest of the practices. What are some things that'll help you do that? Oh um, man, really just taking it, taking up, t taking the time to really dive into the playbook. Is that, that self evaluation? Oh yeah, for sure, man. I get upset with myself about things like that when I feel like I didn't have the best day and then leave everything out there on the field. Is that something that the coaches mentioned to you or was it just something? I'm not, it's some, just something I notice about myself. How much time did you spend with Bryce in California working out in the last month and, and how has that kind of carried, if you did that, how has that carried over? Oh um, man, um, I feel like we got the timing and everything down. While I was down there, I was down there with him for a week. So I feel like we hit everything right on the head. You had to, to kind of miss some of the end of OTAs in minicamp. Do you feel like you're back 100%? Or? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm for sure a little 100%. What you got? You got a hamstring, spring axe, or what do you have done? Oh, yes. I had a hamstring issue. Yes, so it wasn't nothing too serious. Yes, so. Any side effects from that today? You feel ready I feel to go? pretty good today. Yes, sir. So. So you're not being happy with this practice. Like, what do you do afterwards? Like, what's your process look like when you go home? Oh, man, just work on the things that I felt like I didn't do great today and just kind of implement that for the rest of the practices that we're here for. What were those things that was it more catching or more routes? Or just, just having more catches today. Um, I didn't have any today. And really, man, just mainly like kind of getting open a little better than I was, mainly like using my hands and that's it. Do you feel like it can be your role in this offense? A year ago, they needed players to make plays and catch passes and extend the field. What do you feel like you bring to this offense? Oh, and I feel like I can bring a lot, man, but at the end of the day, I'm just trying to do whatever the coaches ask me to do, whatever role they have out there for me. What was your first impression, of, uh, not today, but just in general, of Adam Seymour? He, he's a football player, man. I feel like he's the type of guy that does everything right, and I think he lead that room by his own. We all saw the uh, the treadmill video yeah. of you and Debo. Can you talk about some of the veteran wide receivers that you trained with that gave you some advice going into your rookie season? Oh, man. Well, I was there with Debo, Paris Campbell, Isaiah Higgins, um, Ricky Pierce. I was also there. And um, we just was competing there. And um, the video that you seen on the treadmill when it was just me and Debo, we just was competing on there just to see who's going to hit the best number. Not the best number. Well, you already know I won. <laughs> How fast did you go? I, I hit 19.5. He hit 19 on the head. Is it 19.5? Yeah. What did he have? He hit 19. Did you have any questions? Next week, y'all got a fan event at Clemson. What's it going to be like going back to that stadium? memories you have there except now maybe they're gonna love on you. Uh, well last time I was there we had a victory there at Carolina. So man I'm still living off the highs of that. Anything over X? Yeah. Right, thanks, I appreciate you.